हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मोहम्मद वसीम एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द लाइफ टाइम स्कोप ऑफ डिपेंडेंसी इंजेक्शन सर्विसेज सो दिस इज अ क्वाइट हॉट क्वेश्चन फॉर इंटरव्यूज एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड इट थ्रू आर डेमो सो i have created a, a web api use name is lifetime scopes and it's i have added nothing it's it comes with the already built in code that uh, we get from api so now we are going to change some code and understand that how different lifetime scope works let me get rid from this part of code and let's add a folder for services and let me add some services let's name it single term service and there would be an interface an abstraction for this service so we can register it in dependency injection container <laughs> and in its constructor we will we are printing a message that single term service is created similarly we are going to add another service which i have named scope service on same pattern i have added its constructor and added its interface let's add our last service that we want to understand is transient service here we go with its interface and here it implements and in constructor we can add that message that this service created so we have added so far three services and uh, we have tied them with an interface that because we are going to register their dependency injection in our container so let me go there and program our cs file and here i am going to register my services by using this extension method add scope and then transient and last one is single term okay so basically we have missed this part that this constructor this class or is implementing its interface so i have added that and now uh, it was complaining earlier that is gone okay so <clears throat> for this demonstration let me add a couple of more controllers i am going to name it and controller and what am i going to do is just copy this code bring it here and name this controller as on controller and i am going to name it get other weather forecast home because this name should be unique for all requests and if we go with earlier name it will complain let me add another controller named just for the sake of it and say demo controller again i have to copy this code and paste it here name our controller demo controller let's get it from this code and instead of home it should be demo okay let's close all tabs and now run our project okay so let me split that into two tabs so we can easily check what's happening there okay so here we have demo controller home controller and weather forecast controller with same api that we are that we have received from 
built-in code. But before moving forward, we have to inject our dependencies to check what's happening. Let's go with demo controller. Okay, so I am going to add singleton service. Okay, let's benefit this VL Studio option to add our injection. Similarly, add scope and third one I transit and now I edit it to our constructor. Let's make them look better. Okay, they look better now. Similarly, I have to copy this code in all of my controllers and rename controllers. Got it? Okay, so now we have injected our services in all controller and now we are going to understand that what is going to happen. Let's rerun this project. Let me split screen in two parts and let's see what's happening. Okay, so here I am in demo controller and its API get. When I have executed it, you can see that I have got the message single service singleton services created scoped and transient mm -hmm. so all services have been created once okay if i press again execute now you would see that only scope service and transient services got created singleton services is not created so whenever a new instance is created obviously a constructor of that service will be run and uh, when our program goes into constructor it is going to print that ma message that singleton service created or other so how many time i press this execute you are going to see same message that scope and transient so from this we have got understanding that singleton service instance was created once and it is being used everywhere okay let's come here on home controller and see maybe something is different for this no we are getting same message scope transient scope transient singleton is being used everywhere that was created once if i come here on weather forecast it it remains the same that scope and transient services are being created but singleton is being used that was created once okay let's stop this and do some changes to understand now transient service so basically from this it is already clear that uh, transient service is being created all every time we are injecting but to prove that theory we have to add another class let's name this service as dummy just ignore the names of services for this demonstration i am more interested in displaying that how lifetime scopes is working so let me rename it item service and here we go okay so what i am i going to do here i am going to inject all these three services into this service okay and then we are going to call this item service to understand what is going to happen and let's add another message here that dummy service was created so before moving forward we have to register this service in our program.cs and here we go let's make it single okay let's make it uh, transient for this purpose okay so now what am i going to do i have already 
these three injections in my weather forecast now i am going to add one more and that is item service and <coughs> that's it but uh, to completely benefit let's add a method here to fully see how services are working let's name it void link and this service will implement it dummy service and now I am going to call it here and that's it let's run this project again and now we have added some changes in weather forecast controller let's get back to our splitted view I am here in weather forecast let's try it okay singleton service created once scoped transient this was for these three okay but again <laughs> if we see transient service is created again so how does it come here it is coming from this dummy service so we have added multiple services here and the thing to note here is that transient service was called again but scope and singleton were not called so point to understand here is that singleton service is created once and then used clear transient service is is its instance is created every time wherever we inject it so i transient service interface was injected in two places one in weather forecast controller and other in one in weather forecast controller and other in this dummy service so that is why we have got two calls and same time obviously it tells us that two instances or two objects were created but but why why we have got only one instance of scoped services because this is what scope services scope lifetime says that if we are within uh, <clears throat> within one request and if an object has been already created for some service that was registered as scoped then everywhere in that request if that service is being used again it's old that once created object will be used everywhere so i have injected scope service here in the weather forecast controller so when request came it created one instance for this but then we called dummy service when it went to dummy service and we are already in same scope and we already have got one instance of scope services so it has not created an other instance this time and it has utilized that scope again so this is what a scope is but when this <coughs> request ends we this scope ends so if i <coughs> if i call if i inject this i dummy service in different controller suppose home controller then it will become a different request and it will its instead will create it again let me demonstrate that one okay so I, I am going to inject this dummy service into now our demo controller and add it parameter to controller and on the same fashion I am going to call print name let's run our project let me split my screen okay let's stick to weather forecast I am trying it I am executing it we have got this same messages that we have got for previous request okay 
so but uh, point to note here is that scope service has ended here because the request has ended and the objects have been disposed of for scoped and transient but now we are in different controller different request let me try that so you can see that scope has created an other instance this time so this is an other scope that is why scope service object was created again and similarly we are already clear that transient service will create inject will create its objects uh, with the same number how many time we have injected it so th this is the main difference of scope transient and single i hope this uh, demonstration have uh, clear the idea of lifetime scopes and you have got the better understanding of it that's all for today thank you for watching my youtube channel